always heard piano players doing things like this, and it wasn't until my teacher uh, from years ago, the great Paul Ballenbach, I'm sure many of you know Paul, he is uh, a world-class guitarist, obviously. Um, he used to live here in Washington, D.C., where I live, and uh, I was lucky enough to study with him for a while, and great guy and great teacher, and um, obviously one of the great guitar players of our time. Um, but he could do it, um, this kind of thing, like just forever on the guitar. And it was, you know, he's a very exciting player. So it's the kind of thing that builds a lot of tension and uh, is very, you know, very moving to see him do it like in a trio format or something. I was always very inspired by that. It was very simple in one way. I mean, it's not even theoretically interesting in terms of what, what, what you're doing. You're just moving shapes up and down the neck, um, usually with some forward, uh, upward momentum, like uh, I think I'm doing something that I start, start with like an A minor. Notice that some of these shapes have triads as the melodies, and I think that really helps. Um, I mean, there's no rules with this stuff, but these are just things I've noticed. Like, that sounds really good. Things like that, um, they just kind of, um, this like cascading series of chords, but the real thing is starting at a certain point and, and building uh, momentum and ending at a, at a strong section. Jazzguitarcoach.com is my website. Hit me up if you're interested in getting a conversation started about uh, any of these topics. And please uh, like and subscribe to my YouTube page. <laughs> All right, take care everybody.